Hey everybody, John Peterson here. Welcome to episode three of Which One Works? A small little series of short videos where I discuss um, which image works and which one doesn't and why. These are all my own images, so I'm doing a self-critique on these. So I can rip myself to shreds uh, if I want. But really, this series is designed to give you a little insight into some of the subtle cues that I look for in my images to, to finalize the selections that I want to process and publish, as well as it helps direct me and gets me to think while I'm in the field how best to compose shots. So these are all little subtle, subtle differences in images, uh, whether it's orientation or positioning. And oftentimes it's the little things that can make a good image great. And so that's kind of the focus of this series. So here we go uh, with the latest uh, series of images that we're going to talk about which one works. This is a shot of some driftwood and some corn silk plants uh, up on the Washington coast, uh, up in uh, Olympic National Park. And I was walking a, a trail through the driftwood and saw these plants and managed to find a, a driftwood log that was completely surrounded by them. And I've always loved these kinds of shots. And so I, I worked the scene for about half an hour to come away with different compositions along the same theme. And so I want to walk you through three or four of these and, and talk about which one works and which one doesn't. Now, if you remember, uh, if you watched episode one, I talked about orientation of the camera, and sometimes it's very complementary to the subject. So my first instinct, I, I had to climb up on the log and position my tripod around the log and shoot straight down. And because this log is, in essence, vertical, in, in it's a long subject, my first inclination was to shoot this vertically as you can see in this shot here. It was nice, it really accentuated the log. I get the green, uh, the corn silk on, the, on both sides, um, kind of accentuating the color of the log. I, I made a conscious choice to have the log a little bit off center, which means that, you know, I have a little bit more green foliage on the left than I do on the right. Okay, that was all a conscious choice, and the log is straight up and down. So I wanted to shoot this, kind of a straight ahead shot, just slightly off center. If I would have put the log directly in the middle of the, sh middle of the shot, in my opinion, it wouldn't have worked at all. At least this is a contender. It's right in there. I think it's a great shot. Uh, lots of texture, lots of details, patterns, some deep shot deep shadows in here so i think this is a really good shot the next variation on this composition that i did was i instead of having the log run straight up and down i positioned my camera to try to angle the log through the scene a little bit of an angle gives a sense of motion it gives a little bit more dynamic quality to the image Unfortunately, I'm not quite as straight up and down as I was for this shot. But you can see that, that adding just a little bit of tilt to that log makes a huge difference. So I worked a bunch of different scenes, uh, a bunch of different shots in this vertical orientation. Then, like I'm habituated to do, I also shot it in landscape orientation. Things like this that aren't a clear-cut winner, I will oftentimes shoot both ways and decide which one I like. When I was on location, I figured I was going to like the vertical shots better. 
but I still shot the horizontally. So here's the first horizontal shot. I have the log positioned almost directly in the middle, which horizontally it works better than, than in a vertical shot. So I don't think it's a completely bad shot with the log uh, bullseye right in the middle of the frame. You can see with this, I have a lot more foliage on the left and the right. You know, jumping back to that first shot, this first shot, because there's less foliage, it feels more like a photograph of a log with foliage around it. This shot feels more like an equal balance of foliage and log. So both of these elements, both of these colors are equally important in the frame. So I kind of like that feeling a bit better because this wasn't the shot for me wasn't just about the log. It was about the foliage and the log. That's what drew me to this scene. And so having both of them to have sort of an equal weight visually in the shot, I liked better. So, hmm. I instantly, uh, instantly regretted my, my first assumption in the field, which is I'd like the vertical one better. Because I think ideally I like the horizontal better for that very reason of sort of equal importance. So I shot it straight up and down. I shot it position to the left, shot it position to the right. And then my last shot that I did... I did a little bit of that tilt that we saw in the vertical shot. I just, just skewed the camera just a smidge so the log was going slightly uh, diagonally through the frame. It adds visual interest. It breaks up the, the sort of plainness of a, of a straight up and down shot. It gives, that, it gives that interest, it gives a little sense of motion and a sense of flow. If you see the patterns in the log here, this, you know, subconsciously, there's a lot of flow and a lot of motion in this. And so to direct that visual energy diagonally across the frame, I think feels better. So in the end, I think all of these shots work. Jumping back to the first one, you see this first one, I think that one works, that's a fine shot. This one probably is the weakest of the three because there's far, there, there's not enough foliage on the left hand side of the log for me to capture my vision of what I wanted with the log and the foliage being equally important. This is nice, it's kind of a straight up shot. Um, it doesn't do a lot for me, I think, because that log is vertically vertically oriented. This is the one that I chose as my final selection because it has that beautiful foliage on the left and the right. The log is has a sense of movement through the scene being at an angle. And this one just ticked all of my boxes and why I chose to process this fully and publish this. So there you go, uh, episode three of Which One Works. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys which one you think is best and why. Um, you know, the beautiful thing about art is that it's all very subjective and we all have our own opinions and they're all good. I'm just sharing mine with you about my art and why I chose the image that I did. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes and have a fantastic day.